Hey there friends, if you write programs, you may be familiar with Microsoft's Visual Studio feature rich code editor, but it is only available for Windows, Linux and Mac OS. So have you guys ever wondered how you can install and use VS Code in your Android device? If yes, then this video is for you. In this video, I will tell you how to install and use VS Code in your Android device. So let's get started. To use VS Code in your Android device, first install Termux from FDroid. Do not install it from Play Store. After you have installed it, open Termux application. This is how Termux looks. I will zoom in so that you guys can see clearly what command I type. Now the very first command you need to type is apt update. You may already know what this command does cause I have told about it so many times. It updates the list of packages. After it is finished type apt install prout distro to install prout distro package in our Termux. We are going to use this to install a Linux distro in Termux. After it is installed, type prout distro list to list all the available Linux distros to install. We see void Linux, Ubuntu, Fedora, you can install any of them. Let's install Ubuntu. For that, we need to use its alias that is Ubuntu after typing prout distro install command. So type prout distro install and the alias that is ubuntu hit enter this will start downloading ubuntu and after download is completed it will be automatically installed it can take some time like 4 to 5 minutes after ubuntu is installed you will see this message now run prude distro login ubuntu to login so type or copy paste this prude distro login ubuntu command to launch ubuntu that is installed in our termux Hit enter and if you see this root at localhost that means now you are in Ubuntu system that is installed in Termux. Type apt update two times amsaran and then apt install wget y and hit enter. First this command will update the list of packages in Ubuntu system and then it will install wget package. After it is done type wget and open any browser in your phone. Search for this code server releases. Click on the first link that is from github.com. Here scroll down and in any latest version, right now it is 3.11.1, click on assets and long press on this code server 3.11.1 linux arm64.tar.gz and click on copy link address. This will copy the link of this ARM64 tar file. Now switch back to Termux and paste it after wget and hit enter. This command will download code server file. It is of approx 80 MB so it can take little bit more time if your internet connection is slow. After it is downloaded you will see this new file. Now extract this tar file using tar-xvf and then copy paste the file name. After it is done, you will see new directory named code server 3.11.1 linux arm64. Get inside that directory using cd command and then directory name. So I will type cd and then paste the file name that I copied last time and I will erase .tar.gz, hit enter and now we are in code server directory. Here get inside this bin directory by typing cd bin. Here you will see this code server file type export in capital password equals and in double or single quotes type password for your vs code. I will go with 123. After that type dot slash code dash server to launch our VS code. Now again open your browser and visit localhost is to 8080 to use your VS code. You will be displayed with this login page. Enter the password you specified earlier. For me it is 123 and click on submit.
Here is a VS Code. We have successfully installed it in our Android device. You can use it from your browser. Hey, stop, don't leave now. Now I'm going to tell you something that will be very important for you. See, if I will click on File Explorer and then Open Folder, I cannot access my internal storage. All I can access is just these three folders. So, if I can't access or save any files or folders in my internal storage, I don't think this VS Code will be useful for me. So, how to access internal storage in this VS Code? For that, switch back to Termux, create new session, type Termux dash setup dash storage. Hit enter and then click on allow to give storage permission to Termux. After that, you will see this storage directory. Get inside that storage directory using cd command, then directory name that is storage. Here, type pwd to print the path of this storage directory. Copy this path and launch our Ubuntu in this session too using prove distro login Ubuntu command. Here, as you can see now, there is one directory and one file. To access our internal storage in this Ubuntu system, we need to create a symbolic link of our internal storage here. For that, type ln-s and paste the path we have copied and hit enter. Oh, I accidentally typed ln-a instead of ln-s. Let me correct it. ln-s. Hit enter. And now, we see storage in our Ubuntu system too. Switch back to VS Code that is running in our browser. And now we can access our internal storage too in this VS Code. So this is how you can install VS Code in Android. If you are really planning to use this VS Code, I would recommend you to get external keyboard and mouse. Cause using this VS Code with default keyboard will be uncomfortable. And also all the commands used in this video to install VS Code in Android is in this article on amanbytes.com. So search for VS Code in Android Amanbytes and copy paste all the commands from there. That's it for this video. I hope you have found this video useful. I will see you in next one.